<laughs> when I was a child, my miserable candy grubbing brother always ruined Halloween for me. You think that now I am the lord of everything that makes Halloween scary? I could really get into it. But the pack pest has ruined it for me again before it's even begun. Butler just reported in that the lemon louse foiled my last attack in under three minutes. Hey! Fire ghosts are trying to sleep here. Don't you know who I am? Do oh, spooks these days have no respect? There must be a monster somewhere in this vast netherworld tough enough to take out the pack pain. And we are going to find it. Twelfth time today that I've been gulped and belched. <laughs> Congratulations. That's got to be a new record. Now, get back out there and do your job, Rufus Whiner. Do it. Watch where you're going unless you want a black eye. None of my best monsters can stop him. Even my loyal dog has disappointed me, allowing the Lemon Menace to come and go as he pleases in my kingdom. Oh, that reminds me. Bad dog! Bad doggy! Disgusting! Every dragon, banshee, sorceress, and troll we've thrown at the beach ball has been beaten, eaten, or worse. We need a mega monster good enough to destroy the pack pest once and for all. Well, where are we going to get a mega monster? <gasps> I have a wonderfully wicked idea. Is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Packs our hero. Pack just can't be beat. Yeah. Pack that yellow pack is green. He's a chowing down machine. Yo, monster goons. And only one can stop him. Pack man. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Packs our hero. Pack just can't be beat. The pack is back. Street. You look perfect. Thanks, silly. But I gotta admit, your Betrayus costume is creeping me out. Me too, actually. But too late to change it now. Dude, where exactly is Special Haunted Castle Halloween dinner being held? The invite didn't say, but it sounds like it's gonna be an awesome feast. Ugh. I don't think the host of the party realized who he was inviting when he wrote, All You Can Eat. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. One of the perks of being ghost fighters is that we get invited to all the coolest parties. No kidding. Tonight, dinner at a haunted castle, and then back to town for the Prez's annual Halloween party at the Roundhouse. It's good to be us. Well, when we're not getting attacked by aliens and monsters or slimed by ghosts. No! No, no, no! The cobwebs are much too high. Nobody's going to be able to walk through them and get that creepy, I just walk through cobwebs feeling. Steve! <laughs> oh, I just walked through cobwebs. Creepy. Exactly. That means they're working. Everything must be tested to ensure maximum scariosity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh, is the big federal agent scared? <laughs> well, Stratus, old friend, those gags aren't bad, but it'll take more than a rubber bat and a few cobwebs to frighten our young hero and his ghost-fighting friends. <laughs> cobwebs, smobwebs. This haunted castle has to do better than that to scare us. Hey, I've even been a spider. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, and I've lost count of all the ghosts and monsters and mummies and stuff we've come up against. Been there, done that. I'd say we're pretty much scareproof at this point. You have arrived in Transylpakia. Do not leave the safety of this vehicle for any reason. <laughs> Better buckle up tight. These roads can be dangerous. Haunted 
Castle guys go all out to set the stage. We have arrived. Welcome to Castle Packenstein. <laughs> really, y you could stop screaming now. Whoa! Amazing! Great trick! That was super real looking. So much so, I'm not even sure how he did that. Guess they can do just about anything with special effects these days. Welcome to my humble home. Enter freely and of your own will. As long as the food flows freely, I'm willing. Okay, seriously impressed. They've made the joint almost as creepy as the netherworld. Everything is so realistic. It's almost as if this place is for real. Oh, but that couldn't be possible. Or could it? Greetings, my young friends. I am your host, Dr. Packenstein, and this is my lab assistant, E-Ghost. Nice to meet you both. <laughs> but I'm guessing you're the brains of the outfit? <laughs> A good one, Pack. Oh, yes. Most amusing. Trust me, you have nothing to fear in my little haunted castle. Hardly <gasps> more than just smoke and mirrors, as they say. It is all to ensure you receive the ultimate Halloween experience. <gasps> hey, Eagles. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> That's a relief. Yeah, but we weren't really scared. Much. <laughs> ah, I recognize the famous Pac-Man, despite your costume. But who are your friends? This is Spiral. And this is... Uh, Petraeus, uh, what are you doing back so soon? Uh, this is a costume, and I just got here. Oh, uh, of course, yes. Uh, just an April Fool's or opposite day joke, uh, but for Halloween instead, yes. I apologize that I cannot shake your hands. I have, through the course of my many experiments, sacrificed my body parts until being reduced to my current pickled preserved brain state. Oh, yes. I refer to my leftover limbs as my foot servants and handmaidens. <laughs> hey, Lefty, hurry up with those refreshments. Look at all this! <laughs> Worst servants ever. Just when you think you've seen everything. Please, make yourselves at home while I prepare a feast in your honor. <sighs> Now you're talking turkey, and I hope mashed potatoes, and stuffing, and gravy, and whatever. I can hardly wait. Feel free to tour the castle while I retire to the kitchen. Uh, just avoid any hidden passages, haunted suits of armor, or secret laboratories in which unnatural experiments are being performed. <laughs> Not that we really do that sort of thing around here. <laughs> Careful, you brainless bicep. Dancing dolt! <clears throat> oh, and ignore the muttering mob outside. They're always griping about something or other. But they're nothing compared to my grouchy neighbor, Count Pacula! Hey, you mob! Get away from my mouth! You're driving me batty! Well, if you'll excuse me, dinner won't cook itself, you know. The whole brain in a jar illusion is pretty amazing. I wonder how they do it. I'm guessing E-Ghost is a ventriloquist. This has got to be the most elaborate Halloween party ever. Yeah, but it's funny we haven't seen any other guests. Well, it is a pretty big castle. We'll probably run into him. Let's check this place out. 
Ah, I love to cook, creating a masterpiece out of spare parts. It's what I do. It's my thing. Snap to it, hands. Step it up, feet. Let's get cooking. We'll start with my boo-nana split surprise. <laughs> puts the eep in creepy. I agree. What do you think, Pac? Pac? Eep! <laughs> Ever get the feeling someone's watching you? Concerns that we have not heard from our manufacturer yet. Why are you so nervous about saying his name? Don't want to admit that another scientist has more juice than you? No, not at all. I just don't think it's wise to discuss our plans too openly. The walls have ears, and I hear sometimes eyes as well. Well, once our manufacturer creates the pack-destroying Mega Monster, it won't matter who spies on us. What? Oops! Did you say something? No, but I'm going to find out who did. Well... Have you uncovered your spook spy? No, but I'm certain that somebody is spying on us. Well, I have to use the little ghost room. Have fun with your dim-witted delusions. Oh, where is he? And here's my favorite part of any haunted castle. The dining room. Ah, just in time. I trust your tour was deliciously frightening. And speaking of delicious, please be seated. Whoa, seriously delicious. The feast looks really amazing, Dr. Packenstein. But I can't help but wonder, where are the other guests? Me too. Isn't it rude when people stand you up? Wow, look at all this chow. No guests equals more for me. Turkey burger in the pack pocket. <laughs> That's most impressive. Let the consumption commence. <laughs> Bet this is even better than the spread at the roundhouse, which I can't wait to dig into right after we finish this. <laughs> uh, I'm done. Uh, uh, I'm nauseous. <laughs> I'm... I'm full? Wow! So this is what full feels like! That was the most astonishing exhibition of gluttony I have ever observed. Do you have a miniature black hole in your stomach? No clue. I just dig on chow. <gasps> oh, I especially like the turkey. Back at the dorms, we call it sleepy meat. This batch definitely has got me beat. <gasps> Mm, time to leave anyway. We can sleep on the ride back. Oh, I wouldn't dream of having you sleep in a car when you could take a nap in the comfort of my car food. Well, I am pretty tired. <laughs> Let me show you to your chambers. Secret 
secret passage. Oh, cute trick. There we are. All the comforts of home. Okay, just a quick nap, then gotta go. Ooh, can't miss the roundhouse party. Oh, not you, Pac-Man. <laughs> I have an even better place for you to lie down. <laughs> Say what? Ah, feeling rested? <laughs> good, good. I want you at your best when I put my brain into your body. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gag, right? Just part of the ultimate Halloween experience? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a gag or no a gag. I really don't think that this is that funny. You want to put your brain in my body? You're a terrible host! So they tell me. However, your body will be a perfect host for my brain. Ye ghost, prepare for the final stage. Yes! My fairy dispenser. Once I power up, it'll be Adios, Dr. Wacko. <laughs> Almost there! Almost there! Uh-uh-uh! Oh. Oh, oh. No berries for you, Pac-Man. That is, not until I am cozily confined in your cranium. I don't even know you! So what gave you the idea to cram your thick jelly into my brain box? Well, I don't mind admitting I did have a little help from a couple of seriously evil acquaintances. Dr. Peckenstein, I am extremely pleased that you've agreed to use your expertise to build the ultimate monster to defeat the Pac-Man. Uh, yes! That ghost gobbling tennis ball has overcome every attempt made by lesser scientists to defeat him. And by lesser, I mean you, you bumbling hiney head. And who's the one that always comes up with the ridiculous plans that consistently backfire in his farcically flaming face? Ooh. <laughs> Awkward. <clears throat> A toast to the end of Pac-Man's existence as he knows it. <laughs> but it is an amusing prospect. Quite the cackle. <coughs> you, no one out cackles me. <laughs> yeah. <Wait. laughs> uh, you can stop cackling now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> indeed. I always intended to double-cross those senseless spectres and put my brain into the ultimate body, the body of Pac-Man. Well, that's really flattering, but I pretty much need my body on a full-time basis to, you know, get around and do things like, say, Pac-World and stuff. Pac-Worlders have shunned me and even called me a quack. Words hurt, you know. Duck imitations don't feel much better. Now I'll show them that I'm not just a genius. I'll show them that I'm an all-powerful genius, starting by taking over Pacopolis. Hmm. I wonder why Pac and his friends aren't here. <gasps> Do you think they're not going to come? Oh, they're going to come, right? Now relax, it's still early. I'm sure the lad and his comrades will be here shortly. But what if no one shows up? Or oh, what if the scary gags don't work? <laughs> Protect the president! Worst bodyguards ever! Hmm. Heck is usually first to the food. I sure hope nothing nefarious has befallen our young hero on this Halloween. You'll never get away with this! Any second now, my pals are gonna bust in here and kick your backside! Or jar! Or whatever! At... any... second... That... tickles in a weird way! Whoa, whoa! Like a 
cannot believe I nearly ran out of blood oranges on Halloween! Oh, you and your wretched experiments, Packenstein! Worst neighbor ever! <laughs> I've done it! We're alive! We're alive! Batman's perfect body is mine to control! Well, this is jarring! <laughs> Look at you! The most miserable collection of loser ghouls and incompetent monsters I've seen in my entire afterlife! Drop it! Drop it! <laughs> so I'm sure you're all wondering why I'm doing a happy dance. Because your incompetence forced me to hire an outside contractor to deal with the back problem. At no small expense to me, I might add. Oh. <laughs> Which reminds me, it is time to go to Dr. Peckenstein's castle to see what kind of pack destroying monster he has created for us. Whee! <laughs> I don't care what it looks like, as long as it rids us of the lemon menace forever! We've got to help my poor Packums before it's too late! Oh, it's too late for you, Pac-Man. I've done it. Your perfect body is mine to control! What have you done to me, Dr. Packenstein? No. Were you snoozing when I explained this before? I pulled the old switcheroo. My brain, your body, your brain, my jar. This must be a nightmare. I gotta pinch myself. Good luck with no hands. I do hope you enjoy your life of confinement more than I did. Oh, and have someone change the nutrient fluid once in a while? It gets pretty funky in there. I know I haven't eaten in ages, but I've never been so ravenously hungry before. This year, I've stocked the tables with enough food for an army. Or hopefully one Pac-Man and my guests. But I wonder why Pac's not here yet. <gasps> Everybody always wears the same thing, even me. I wish somebody would bring it to the party this year. Uh, oh, okay, waking up in jail after a party is never a good sign. I'm pretty sure this isn't a party. We've been duped by that nasty brain, and I'm seriously worried about Pat. You should be! Ah! <sighs> you think we get used to that by now? What are you guys doing here? <sighs> the usual. Saving the lemon drops bacon, but Treyas and Dr. Pakenstein are in cahoots. That explains why that nasty brain thought he recognized me when I was wearing this. We'd have gotten here sooner, but we didn't have the right address in Transylpactia. And the GPS signal is terrible out here. I'm lost. I'm frightened. Hold me. Oh. Let's go! We gotta save my Packums! I sure say that a lot. Um, excuse me, solid flesh, real body? We can't go through the bars like you. <sighs> hey, there has to be at least one perk to not having a body anymore. A little to the left. Open sesame! Do you try to keep up, sister? Oh, I'll do better than keeping up, Slowpoke. Cool! But how did... I remember Packenstein mentioning there were secret passages. What took you so long? Not bad for Packworlders. Hello? We won. But then who's keeping score? <coughs> Whatever! There's that conniving Cortex! What did you do to our pal, you lousy lobe? Yeah, spill your guts, you dirty brains! Uh, how would that even work? Whoa, take it easy, guys! It's me! That evil glove of gray matter somehow got my mind stuck in this jar, and his has taken over my body! <sighs> that makes a horrible kind of sense. Okay, yeah, but what I'm having trouble wrapping my head around is is how either of you talk without a mouth. I think it's some kind of telepathic thing. <sighs> Whatever! We need to get my Packham's noodle back to where it belongs! ASAP! Right! Who knows how much trouble that guy can get my 
body into? My guess is plenty. Let's go. Um, guys, a little help here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, now let's go. Oh, this body is a marvel. So much better than my old one was, with its weakling, nerdy scientist limbs that could barely lift a lab beaker or fend off a wedgie. You are an embarrassment to appendages everywhere. Well, now I shall show all those wedgie givers and naysayers and fools who laughed behind my back. Now that I've got a back to laugh behind, soon all of Pack World will bow to me. I can hardly wait to meet my new mega monster. Or should I say, my prepaid satisfaction guaranteed Pack Pest destroying mega monster. <laughs> Don't eat me! Eat Dr. Rumpen! I'm bitter and stringy, but he's plump and delicious! I'm not your enemy. Well, I am, but I'm not the enemy you think I am. Actually, I'm your worst nightmare of an enemy enemy. What's he babbling about? No idea. How many times do I have to explain this? I am Dr. Packenstein, and thanks to you, slimy buffoons, I now possess Pac-Man's perfect body. Hmm, perfect, except that it's always ravenously hungry. I've never considered ghost a delicacy before, but like you said, you're delicious. Just him? I'm bitter and stringy, remember? Hmm. I can work with that. Oh, I can't believe that we're about to be gobbled by this double-crossing snake! Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, now I believe it. <laughs> Look! There's my possessed packums! And there's my second course. <laughs> hey, you know, guys, I don't think we thought this through. <laughs> You know, E-Ghost, spooks are surprisingly tasty. And since I don't really need your extra set of hands, I might as well eat you, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, those specters aren't very filling. They barely scratch the itch. Not enough body to them. Oh, bet this is even better than the spread at the roundhouse. Let's see what kind of feed bag old Spheros puts on before I gobble him along with his banquet. Oh, hey, road snacks. Uh, oh well, guess there are some things even this awesome body can't stomach. Ah, get him! It's one of Packenstein's monsters! Ah, he barked up that poor lady! He's eating everything inside! Batman monster! Ooh, these look interesting. I wonder what they taste like. Ooh, cool mint. It throws our fire! Let's get out of here! Uh, just like stealing candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Created the belching yellow monster! Destroy that brain! Yeah, destroy it! Oh, I really need to move to a quieter hood. I'm not that double crossing Dr. Brackenstein! And the monster is me! Well, him! Well, him inside of me! Uh, I mean, I'm not helping, am I? Pronoun trouble. Get what the get away? Go, go. Well, I don't see how this Halloween could get any worse. Ugh. But you should really know better than to say that. Yeah. I really should. Great! We either get chopped or mobbed. I think you guys better power up. You still got your emergency berries, right? Yes, yeah. and this is definitely an emergency. I guess we have no other choice. Just what I was afraid of. Spiral fly. Please, just don't let me turn into a... Oh, of course. 
<laughs> Looks better on me. Wow. And I wasn't feeling bad enough. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh hush. You guys think you can catch us? Think again. We caught you. <sighs> and now they've caught us. I wish I could lend a hand, but I don't even have a mouth! So, why do I still think I'm hungry? Speaking of hungry... <laughs> at least we could use our fairy powers to escape. It could be worse. And now it is! Place. There's like a monster around every corner. Remind me to never visit Transylvania again. I will, if we get out of here alive. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that itches. I despise the feeling of regenerating ectoplasm. Oh, how odd. I cannot seem to perceive my depth perception. Uh, clearly, as this confounded contraption is overdue for servicing. Okay, so we've been double-crossed by Dr. Packenstein. No big surprise. I've never met a mad scientist who wasn't a complete scoundrel. Oh, well, I... Uh, never mind. However, I do believe it will work out perfectly if we can get hold of the pack brat's brain and destroy it. He's stuck in a jar. So what can he do? You ready? Happy Halloween! What's up, Roadbeast? I command you, slimy specters, to follow Dr. Buttocks and hunt down the pack pest's bratty brain! <laughs> okay, I really, truly, for reals, don't know how things could get any worse. I cannot believe you just said that. Ugh, you know every time you do, things get... Worse. Wow, that didn't take long. Obtain the brain! Silly, watch! Oh, guys, turn on the football! Good idea, Pat! Spiral, go wrong! Oh, I can be out of mouth! He's at the 30 yard! The 20 yard! He's at the 10! Touchdown! Go! Head the brain ache! Ha <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! Okay, I'm not saying it, but I'm just saying. But you were thinking it. So here comes Count Pacula to make matters even worse. Get Look delicious. Right. that brain. <laughs> Surrounded by ghosts, monsters, and villagers. And now here comes Count Pacula. Don't need it. With me, if you want to leave. I've always wanted to say that. Wait, you're saving us? I overheard you, Pac Man. Any foe of Packenstein is a friend of mine. Well, at least until I get even with the worst neighbor ever. I sleep days, work nights, and with all the lightning. <laughs> and screaming. I can see how that could be annoying. And angry villagers storming his castle. I can't concentrate. If you can shut this guy up, I will be eternally grateful. And believe me, I know from eternity. Hey, what do you know? Things just got better. Now let's hope Dr. Packenstein isn't using my body to make other things worse. Ah, oh, President Spheros. Oh, finally! Pac-Man's here! Now we can get this party really jumping! Pac, my boy, I've been standing guard over your favorite foodstuffs, and they're all... Uh, mine! <laughs> More! Delicious. Oh, hell. <laughs> Crank it down a notch, lad. You're scaring the guests. You want scary? I'll 
show you scary. Oh, yes. I want to have the scariest Halloween party ever. <laughs> The mind of a real genius, not an old quack like you. <laughs> I'm not monkeying around. Oh, what a disaster. This party couldn't get worse. Sure wish he hadn't said that. It's you in the jar who commandeered your body. It was I, Dr. Parkinstein, the greatest scientific mind of our time. Actually, I'm the greatest, the greatest scientific, scientific mind of our time. time. Whatever. Spiral, silly, try to maintain some order here while Grinder and I subdue that body bandit. <laughs> Be back! <laughs> Touch me if you can, you substandard scientist! Oh, you ridiculous robber! <sighs> I think I'm in love. This is an utter disaster. Mm. <laughs> oh, the beautiful chaos I've caused. Revenge is sweeter than the sweetest Halloween candy. My tricks are a treat. Oh, oh sorry. Hack? <laughs> Hurry up with the jar, silly. Holding eyeballs is skeeving me out. Phew. Pack's brain's safe again. Not hardly, since I am about to destroy it permanently. Get in, Dr. Heiny Head. Taste the formidable fruity footsteps of the Peck Na 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 Na. to pop back to the lab to cobble together this mini brain transference device. It'll get Dr. Wackenstein's brain back in the jar and packs back in his body. I hope. Me too. Give it your best shot, Cersei. It's <laughs> there on the eBay. Oh, well, that feels so funny. But this isn't funny. Ugh, and like this is? I can't believe I'm in a Vampax body. No, no need to worry. I'll just recalibrate the frame stat on the doohickey and then... No, you need to worry. Well, it's nice to be out of that jar and in a body again. Even one as creepy as this. No offense, Count P. I brought your backup power berries. Take your pick, my boy. Thanks, Cersei. Down the pack hatch. <laughs> Smart berry. Not sure how that's gonna help me get my body back. Those berries never seem to work the same on normal pack worlders. And the count is even less normal. Hey, I'm right here. Words hurt, you know. That may be true, Count, but I'm afraid that Cylindria is correct. Observe, that brain is expanding with his intellect. Oh, of course. The solution uh, is quite obvious. All that needs to be done to alleviate this threat is... Whoa! Whoa! 
I fall in head over heels for my lousy neighbor. Oh, this is the best day in my eternal life. Thank you, Pac-Man. Glad to be of service. Now I just need to solve the little matter of getting my giant gray matter back into my own body. All right, I believe I've set the dials correctly. Everyone cross your fingers, except for you, of course, Count. <laughs> You, bro. <sighs> it's good to be home. Hey, what happened to Dr. Packenstein's brain? Who can say? I must have dropped a decimal point when I was calibrating the crazy contraption. <laughs> this is just as bad as being in a jaw. <laughs> Correction, it's worse. Um, no. Weirdest Halloween ever! 